we need to find the number of rectangles in this given grid system. Uh, now this is relatively complex. Let's first try to see uh, through a basic uh, example how do we generally find out uh, the number of rectangles in a given grid system. So let's say we have a grid like this. Let's say I have vertical lines and horizontal lines. All right. Now let's try to first find out how many rectangles are there in this grid system. Before that, let's talk about what forms the basis of a rectangle. How do we get a rectangle? What we need is two vertical lines and two horizontal lines. A combination of two horizontal lines and two vertical lines gives me a unique rectangle. When I say unique, in this case, it is this rectangle. So every set of unique vertical lines and unique horizontal lines gives us one unique rectangle. Now let's use this concept to find out the result for this grid. Now we are talking about seeing how in how many number of ways can we select two vertical lines from all the vertical lines in this grid and in how many ways can we select two horizontal lines from the set of given horizontal lines in this grid. So let's count the vertical lines first. We have one, two, three, four and five vertical lines. We have one, two, three, four and five horizontal lines as well. Now. We can choose two vertical lines from 5 in 5C2 ways. Same with horizontal lines. We can choose two from five horizontal lines in 5C2 ways. And we need an AND operation because we need both vertical as well as horizontal lines. It's not just that in isolation of uh, vertical lines can produce a rectangle. We need both. So AND operation is mandatory here, which means a multiplication sign here, which means 5C2 squared is the number of rectangles for this grid system. Now let's build on this and extend this concept to solve this original problem that we had. Now, if you see this uh, grid system carefully, we can break this down into two different parts. One grid system can be this one and the other grid system can be this one. Uh, no, this one. Right? Let's say these two are the system. Now, we can easily find out uh, the number of rectangles in each of these grid systems, right? Let's try to do that. So, we would need the number of vertical lines and horizontal lines. So, let's try to find out. The number of vertical lines here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and number of horizontal lines is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So in this first grid system marked highlighted within blue region the total number of rectangles that we get is 11C2 into 6C2 and this we have discussed earlier. How do we get this, right? Now look at the other grid system which is within the boundary of this green highlight. How many vertical lines does this region have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. 12 vertical lines and how many horizontal lines does it have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So the number of rectangles contained within this green highlighted line uh, boundary is 12C2 into 6C2. We're going to add this to the previous result. But 
the catch here now is that it's like solving a union problem of the set theory wherein this region that I'm going to highlight now is the overlapping part between the two grids which means there is a repetition happening so the number of rectangles contained in this purple region have been counted twice we need to account for that we need to subtract one such repetition in order to get the unique result in order to get the union so we need to subtract so the number of vertical lines here is six and how many horizontal lines do we have one two three four five and six minus six c2 into six c2 this will take care of one unique occurrence of all the rectangles and now we can <coughs> get down to take six c2 common we have 11 c2 plus 12 c2 minus 6 c2 uh, 6 c2 is nothing but 15 11 c2 is 55 plus 66 minus 50 15 minus 55 minus 15 is 40 plus 66 106 into 15 so we are talking about 15 into 106 which is 1590 these are the total number of rectangles contained in this grid system and this is how you can solve such problems you have to <laughs> understand the basic concept and then build on from there on and as the problem is you can you can customize your solution got accordingly